Hey guys, welcome to Any Last Words. I'm your host, Joe. Thank you for joining me tonight. Ooh, that was kind of loud. Excuse me, Jesus. Welcome to Any Last Words. I'm your host, Joe. Thanks for joining. <laughs> tonight we're going to be doing um, homemade microwave meals because I got cooking requests. Um, I'm filming Friday, so I won't be able to do um, another live show for Creative Kitchen. And I need to clean my microwave anyway. So it was kind of like a trifecta situation. Just had to do it. So. Hope you guys are having a good week so far. It's home day. I love it. I love it so much because my week's just going to get easier and more exciting from here. So, like I said, we're going to be doing mug meals tonight in a mug just like this. Do you like it? Do you like it? I hope you like it. I love it because it's an official Any Last Words mug that you can get also off of my merch store. The link is in the description below where it says get the merch. You can also get things, you know, like shirts and t-shirts, like shirts like this, Cloomer, which is a shirt that I created that you can also buy on there. Actually, it's the tank top because it's hot today. So it's just cold in my house. So, hey, Sean. Hey, Fabrizio. How are you guys doing? Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so we're going to get into a couple of mug meals, homemade mug meals. So it's not, um, yeah, I guess I should have put mug meals. I just put microwave meal. Well, it's a fucking microwave. Whatever. After years of not seeing the show, I'm finally on time. <laughs> I'm glad you, I, what do you mean? I, you're always here. I love it. Um, but yeah, so tonight we're going to be doing the mug meals. I guess I should put mug meals, but whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be doing um, pizza in a mug, mac and cheese in a mug, and then I'm going to be doing ice cream cake in a mug. It's not exactly what it sounds like, but it is what it sounds like. So We'll get to that later. Um, first, I wanted to say happy birthday to one of my Patreon supporters, Mark D. Valente, also a past guest and host of Brain Burrow. You guys go check out that show. The link's in the description as well for his YouTube page. Really awesome show. Make sure you guys go over there and wish him a happy birthday. Oh, hey, Richard. How's it going? I know you were busy with school. You were, you were here. You were here when you could be, and I appreciate it. Um, and I'm glad that you were able to get through school and then everything was going well with your family now. Well, I hope still, because it's been a minute, but, <laughs> but yeah. So, um, yeah. So happy birthday to Mark also. And I actually got like, I'll get that. Eh, yeah. Let's get into the movie one first. So I was introduced to this, what looks like it might be a hilarious horror movie. If you like Thanksgiving, and I love Thanksgiving, I was introduced to it last year. It is one that I'm for sure going to be watching every year for Thanksgiving, um, or think or in November. Um, let's see, Charles, my stepdad did ramen in a mug. Yeah, you can do ramen in a mug. You, you can do so much. You can do so much. But I'll get into that in a second. Um, yeah. So if you like Thanksgiving, this movie is called Squirrels, and it came out in 2014. I have not seen it yet because it was just, I just saw the trailer for it today. Um, so I'm going to try to watch it this weekend because it kind of, it kind of gives me that, the, the vibe a little bit. I mean, it doesn't, I don't think it's a crude movie because like I said, I haven't seen it yet, but the trailer looks fucking hilarious. Um, yeah. So the link's in the description also. So if you guys want to go check out the trailer for Squirrels, go check it out. If you watch it, let me know what you thought about it. Might do a movie review on it. So yeah, let me know and we'll see what happens. So, thanks, Killing, yes. Hey, what's that? Yes, thank you for introducing me for Sir Sturdy to Thanks, Killing. That shit was amazing. So, dude, go check out Squirrels, because that's one that my that uh, I was introduced to today. So, I'm, I haven't watched it yet, but the trailer's fucking hilarious in the description. Guys, go check it out. So, yeah. <sighs> I think that was it. I think I got everything out. Merch store, birthday, chatting with you guys. Squirrels. Squirrel. Okay, now let's get into this mug milk. I'm hungry. I haven't really eaten all day. I've been at work. So, fucking starving. Is squirrels streaming? You know what? I don't know. I just saw I just saw the trailer for it today. You can go see. I, I haven't had time to, like, really, like, dig into where I can see it. Um, but it looks like it's kind of like an indie-ish kind of film. Um, like I said, it looked hilarious from what I saw. But I, you know, I, I think we all have kind of, like, a crude sense of humor here. So I think you guys might laugh at it too. I don't. I don't want to give too much away. The assassin turkey. Yep. Um, you're on, you're down to your review even without seeing the trailer. All right, cool. 
Um, have I seen? No, I've not seen frogs. Tell me about frogs. I want to see that. Is it as epic as zombie beaver? I have not seen zombie beaver yet. I have not. Because there's some that I, I, I see the trailer for and I'm like, fuck that. I'm not watching that. Like, sorry, not sh- sorry, but all the fucking, the Sharknado movies have ruined me from watching anything shark. So what was that Santa Claus one? Santa Jaws or whatever it was. I was like, no, like. If there had not been so many Sharknado movies, I probably would have been like, oh, hell yeah, I'll watch that. But I just, get, get the fuck out of here with that shit. Piss off. So uh, Fabrizio says, they are literally killer frogs. But the worst thing, that they are real frogs. Uh, as with nothing, and people are overacting. Okay. <laughs> Zombie beavers is funny. Not terrible. Okay. Me, uh, maybe, maybe. I'll put it on the maybe list, on the maybe list. Uh, okay, so I'm going to tell you guys, like, a little funny story. It's not, it might not be funny to you guys. It's funny to me because I had to live through it. But um, in my 20s, and maybe some of you can relate to this story. Um, in my 20s, I moved into this apartment. And it was on a really shady side of town. And it it was an old, um, I want to say it was like a late 1800s, like Victorian style house. And it was like a two story house. So they took it and they sectioned it into four. So it was like four separate apartments, but you had one main doorway and um, like a stairway to go up to the two top apartments. And then when you, but when you walked in the front door, there's a door here and a door here to get into the bottom apartment. Anyway. Um, yeah. So thought it was a really freaking cool house because they kept a lot of the original um like construction and carpentry in it they just sectioned it off but they made it look nice um even though it was like kind of run downish because it was old um anyway <laughs> um the landlord I mean it was kind of like I don't I my first apartment in a really long time kind of going back out on my own again in my 20s and um I just kind of took it because it was like, I like the way it looks. I don't necessarily like the area, but I like the house. The landlord seems okay. I know the neighbor. They seem cool or, you know, they're cool, blah, blah, blah. And there's no other neighbors. So it was just us and like, just us. Um, Yeah. So my apartment had no stove in it. It didn't even have a refrigerator in it. Um, didn't have a microwave. It had nothing. It had absolutely nothing. And it was completely like stripped, but I was told I was going to get an oven before I moved in. Cause I have, you have to have an oven. You have to have something that like some kind of cooking element or whatever. I think by law, I think California's weird, but, um, yeah. So he never ended up bringing me a fucking stove. Um, I, you know, it was just my income, you know, it's kind of expensive to live in California. So for me to have a one bedroom apartment, period was you know I'm actually kind of doing okay for myself being a single lady and um so I could I could never afford like a brand new stove or somebody to, who would be willing to bring it up those old narrow stairs because older houses have more narrow hallways and shit like that so everything was difficult to even take up the stairs anyway never got a stove I only ended up living there like six or seven months and I was like fuck this place and left because I it wasn't worth it anymore um if you listen to the other parts of the story you'll probably figure it out but um while I was there for six to seven ish months um I made a lot of microwave food and I don't necessarily like a lot of frozen microwave food or box microwave food so I kind of had to start learning how to make fresh homemade microwave food and buying like little gadgets and shit like that to make the things that I wanted to eat that wasn't you know, coming from a cardboard box. So, yeah. So that's my little funny story of why I like and know how to make fucking microwave food. <laughs> so actual microwave food. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Richard. Nice. Nice. Any last word? Mug placement. I like it. This episode just revolved around my mug. So, yeah. But anyway, let's get into this shit because I'm starving. Like I was trying to like munch down some chili cheese free toes before we got on here. Okay, so the first one, um, let's see. The pizza one doesn't take as long as the macaroni does. I had to write this down because it's three different recipes. By the way, microwave meals, they're all going to take different amounts of time depending on the wattage of your microwave. 
I don't know what all the wattages were on these recipes, except for one. I think it was like a 1400 watt microwave. I was like, shit, I think, what is my, this is how you can tell. You can open your door and it usually tells you right there. Mine's 700 watt because I usually only use it to fucking reheat coffee. That's about it. Um, or okay, very, very randomly one of these guys. Um, it's the origin story for Creepy Kitchen. How to start mess with love. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mark, how you doing? Thanks for joining. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so the wattage, it's going to depend on, you know, how long it's really going to take to make your food. So if this was a recipe that was actually a 700 and I had a 1400, it would take half the time. But since it's opposite, it might take twice as long. It might take one and a half times as long. I don't know. Um, we're going to figure that out, but it's okay. Cause I'm the one that's got to eat it. Not you guys. So. Uh, I'm doing great. Hopefully not going to poison myself or make myself sick again tonight. So let's join the fun guys. Um, but yeah, the macaroni one's going to take a lot longer than the pizza one. So I think I might want to do the macaroni one first. Um, oh, I wrote this funny. That's why I can't figure out what I'm looking at. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do one cup of water and a cup of pasta. Um, and this recipe said it was macaroni and cheese, but I don't have, I don't think I have any more fresh macaroni in there. I didn't really want to dig in the cabinet either, because there's so much pasta in the cabinet. Pasta, and then, you know, if you guys ever noticed in past episodes when this microwave's not here, I have a shit ton of bread and tortillas, like, constantly. We eat a lot of carbs in my house, so we're going to have diabetes if we don't already. Don't worry, I can still see out of both eyes. Uh, I kind of, yeah, I'm going to use also, I kind of don't want this much pasta because I got this other stuff to eat. Whatever. Do it for you guys. So we're going to do a cup of pasta and a cup of water. But since I'm putting so much stuff in a cup, like this little mug is actually also going to be kind of too small for it. So I'm going to get bigger mug. I'm going to get my elf mug, because that's one of my favorite Christmas movies. Cotton headed nini, nini muggins. Let's see. Um, curiosity here in Mexico, we are midterm elections of the current president. Um, I don't know which question it is, because it scrolled past. Ah. Um, okay, cool. Um, and if you want to laugh or cringe, search for Mexican politician person. Oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> okay, I'll definitely go check that out. But I need to get some water real quick. So like I said, I'm going to get a way bigger mug than normal. You guys can see the size difference. Way bigger. This is like I've ha I, I'm have going to have a long day mug. Um, so a cup of pasta and a cup of water. I hope this doesn't overboil in the microwave because that would suck. Oh, no, I don't think it will because it like barely filled that halfway. And, of course... <sighs> Add a little salt, a little bit of salt. You know what would help also is if I plugged in the microwave. See, like I said, I had to clean the microwave earlier, so I didn't plug it in. Uh, let's see. Plug this guy in. Okay, now we have, shh, rude. Okay, here we go. So, oh, I need the dish. Oh my God, get my shit together, guys. Yeah, you kind of need a clean microwave plate, too. That kind of helps. This might be for the 1400 watt one. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So let's go back to the uh, comments. Um, let's see. If you put metal in the microwave, food cooks faster. Ooh, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. I should try that. Also, you should never put uh, those shiny Jack in the Box burger wrappers in the microwave either. Not that I personally know. Maybe I do. Probably. I do. Um, yeah, don't do that either. So, <laughs> funny story. Actually, some of you, I think some of you guys were here for it. Um, was it? I think it was like before New Year's, before, maybe a tiny bit after New Year's. 
the I had another microwave. This is actually a newer microwave. I had another microwave that like blew up during the show. It was freaking hilarious. It scared the shit out of me. And then I just kept thinking, I was like, because I put a ramekin in there. And I was like, wait, this could go in there, right? If I mean, like, I use it all the time, right? I'm not sure. I think I use it. I know I use it. And it wasn't, it wasn't that at all. It's just the microwave was just old. So just years and years of reheating coffee in it. So uh, you wish you'd seen that. It's, I don't remember which episode it was. I think I was melting chocolate or something like that in a little, in a little uh, white dish. And I stuck it in the microwave and it, like, it started sparking like there was metal in there. But it just, it had kind of done it before when I was making popcorn. But I thought I was like, oh, this isn't going out. What's happening? Did I put something in here? But it was like, it was one time real quick. And then that night when I put it in there, it just started going, and I was like, oh my God. And then I was kind of scared to touch the microwave to turn it off, but I kind of had to because I didn't know if it was going to explode it. It did. It was great. So a microwave is a great way to change, to charge your phone. Oh. I wonder if it's like a, like the speed charge, you know, like the quick, the little port tablet things used to come on it real fast is it dracula day oh yeah it's the um it's the original guy's birthday he's like ancient now ancient 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 Ugh, how much time we got i'm starving do you guys make microwave food at all if you do let me know or do you like the frozen shit but yeah, I had to clean this one out because I got a random hair up my ass for fish sticks, frozen fish sticks. So I like fish. Um, and I was just, I don't know why, I was just like, hey, fish sticks sound good. So I grabbed a box of fish sticks. I made them in the oven. thought they tasted kind of weird. Didn't eat them. A couple days later, came home. I was tired. I was starving. And I didn't want to wait for nothing. I was like, oh, I'll, put micro or I'll put fish sticks in the microwave. I don't care if they're smooshy. I don't care if it lemon juice all over that shit. They get soggy anyway. No. Smells horrible. No, no. Yeah. So pretty gross. I don't eat fish sticks anymore now, by the way. So <laughs> you like fish sticks? <laughs> I don't like fish sticks anymore. Maybe I just got a bad brand or something. I don't know. I don't remember if I got them at Winco or Walmart. One of the places. I should check those. Oh no. It overboiled. Shut. Ugh. It overboiled, so now there's freaking water all in the microwave. Just clean this shit. Oh, no. Maybe too hot to touch. Ew, is the pasta? That pasta does not look done. No, it's not done, but there's still a shit ton of water in here. Shocker. I almost feel like I should add some more water, but probably not. Okay, so. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah, side note, we should probably put like a a saucer, like a little plate or something on there. Make sure all your chips microwave bowl so don't stick shit in there you're not supposed to. Gonna get a bit. That's not even nearly done, so I'm adding another 30. Now I'm gonna add another minute. So four minutes wasn't enough, because this is only a 700 watt microwave. So yeah. So if you something happens to your stove or your oven. Make microwave milk, it's totally fine. This isn't going again. Okay, good. And I should have put the link in the description. I didn't think of it until right before I started, but um, I used to do another, um, I used to do a cooking show back in the day called Fucking Fantastic. And there was an episode where I did microwave food. Um, I'm paranoid, it's gonna go over. Um, I did uh, basically like microwave Dorito tamales and microwave brownies. Pretty, pretty easy. One of them is going to be kind of similar to this tonight. So, um, no, I had it 30 seconds again. Ah, yeah, it's overboiling. Damn it, now I'm going to watch this shit. Can't be watching you and watching this and watching me. Bullshit. It's not done until the fire alarm goes off. Oh, you did a lot of microwave cooking too when you were single? Yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's not bad. Okay, I keep catching it right before it's going over the edge of the freaking mug. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna get a radiation poisoning just sitting here. Uh, 
when I worked in a bar, I used to have to make like the microwave popcorn and the microwave pork rinds and stuff. And I'd stand next to the microwave. So as soon as it's done, I'd run it out while it's hot. And I'd always have that one customer yell, get away from the microwave. You're going to get cancer. I'm like, yeah, well, welcome to the world. Everything's going to give you fucking cancer. Holding this pin's probably going to give you cancer. So whatever. So I hope it's going great so far. It looks like cold water's going to come out, though. This is, this, I think this is a Pinterest lie. I might want to put a lid on this. I don't know. I've made rice in the microwave a lot. Oh, why did you make that noise? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't clean the camera again. I don't know, it sounds angry. Don't tell me it's going to break. That would suck. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm going to need this again because it did start overflowing a little bit. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think this one might be bullshit. Maybe we should have started. Nope. It's not done. Mm, it's not hot done. So I'm like, oh, Jensen. What's funny is it says that you have to strain the water out and there's really no water left in this, so. I mean, stick it back in there. I'm going to do another minute and see what happens there. And then when it's done, we can move on. So, wait, what are the other ingredients? Cross the water. I need milk. That's fine, I can get milk in a minute. No big deal. Uh, you need any last word mug? Well, they're all in my, my merch store, which is in the description below. Um, pretty, pretty, I don't know. I've been pretty happy with this. It comes from Teesprings. The quality has been pretty good. I've stuck it in the microwave a million times. So the paint hasn't chipped or anything. It's still pretty nice. I banged it around a lot. It hasn't chipped yet. So I'm pretty happy with the quality of them. I'm happy with the quality of the shirts too. And the tank tops and whatnot. Pretty nice. So you guys can get yours too in the link below. It says get the merch. Um, you always wondered how they lived the election year of half term and chose how we don't really follow a lot of politics here. So we don't like being told what to do. We don't like to tell other people what to do. So um, if my room at Frightmare has a microwave, am I going to do some microwave cooking? You know what? I might because we usually get a lot of people to like go back and like hang out and drink some more. So we're not running up and down the strip. And um, oh, that's when we go to Vegas. What did we do in Texas? Oh, yeah, everybody went to, like, Frankie Miguel's room. Because Lauren and I were on the other side of town. So, yeah, that was fun. Never mind. I don't fucking know what they did. Anyway, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'll do that. Maybe I'll do a little cooking thing there. It's like 3 a.m. We need food. Ooh, okay. See if it's done. Mm, perfect. Um, I'm gonna check this in case for water. Not who here is. No, there's no water. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, crap. Okay. Anyway, what was that? So instead of four minutes, it was like six and a half minutes because my water is just half as much as what the recipe or what the instructions call for. So then, okay. So it was one cup of water, one cup of pasta. I had to do it for six and a half minutes. I'm a 700 watt microwave. Um, a dash of salt, strain it. A cup of shredded cheese. That's a lot of freaking cheese, yo. I think I shredded enough. I hope I shredded enough. Okay. So, kind of, I guess, kind of easy to remember too, because one cup of water, one cup of pasta, one cup of cheese. So, ah, I'm just gonna make a mess. I don't want to waste cheese. That's just rude. I'm gonna put that much cheese on there because I still got pizza to make. So, that's gonna bug me if it's there, so I've gotta clean it off. Sorry. There we go. Okay, and then it said something about milk. And I gotta put it back in the microwave. Okay, quarter cup of milk. Mm. 
What a cup of milk. I think I needed this milk on anyway. It's worth it. You sit there. Stir it up. And I think I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese in this too. I like cheese. Because I'm white. And I'm not even a measure, I'm just going to pour some in there. Like, that looks good. Okay. Start it up and show you guys. I don't think it needs to go back in the microwave. I think this mug is hot enough to hold it together. It looks good. Okay. So that's the oops. pasta and cheese. Kind of looks like mac and cheese. Not as a, I don't know, maybe because, I don't know, I don't know. I like stringy cheese. Not like mac and cheese box cheese. That's good. Because it's real cheese. Hey, it's pepper. My fancy dance pepper. I just realized it's taking me 27 minutes to show you guys how to make six and a half minute mac and cheese. I'm gonna eat more. I'm starving. Oh, okay. Next. Okay. So next we'll do the we'll do the pizza because I figured that that macaroni and cheese is gonna take a long time. Now with a lot of the a lot of like the mug meals you do, a lot of times it's really it's really easy for the food to like cook to the mug. So I try to use like cooking spray when I do them. But a lot of these did not call for cooking spray. I'm a little nervous about that. But I'm just gonna do it anyway. So let's do we're gonna do pizza. And we'll do it in my any last words mug. Again, I keep some lemon shit. Arr. Um, let's see. Okay, I need flour. This one's a little more involved. So, a tablespoon of, four tablespoons of flour. I wish they have better flour bag technology. Well, they do. I think it's one, there's one called um, Blue Mountain or something like that. They've got really good flour. It comes in a Ziploc bag. But I can't always find it anymore. So I'm stuck with this old metal bullshit. It comes in a paper bag. Three. This ruins my left. And four. Okay, we're done with that. And the zipper broke on my bag. Um, let's see. I need baking powder and baking soda. I need eight of a teaspoon, not a tablespoon, of, come on, food, baking powder. And then a sixteenth of baking soda. Which, so I just need to do half of the eight, obviously. Let's see. I don't want to do too much. That looks good. <coughs> I got pepper in my throat. I feel it burn. Okay, pinch of salt. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, that is way more than a pinch. Boop, there we go. Milk. I knew I was going to need it. Three tablespoons of milk and then a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're going to mix it up and put it in the microwave. So this, again, I guess it's kind of easy to remember this one, too, because it's like four tablespoons of liquid to four tablespoons of, like, main dry. Because you've got three tablespoons of milk and one of olive oil. If you don't have olive oil, cooking oil is fine, or vegetable oil is fine. Um, but we have several varieties of olive oil. Because I love olive oil. It's really good for you. Olive oil. Okay. Did I need this for anything? No. Okay. So I can. Okay, I can get rid of that. I'm 
I'm done with that. I need to stir it up until it looks like it's quick. And make sure you scrape on the inside too because you need flour that sticks all the way down there. Oh, this is going to make a tiny little guy. I think I should have sprayed this mud. Where God, it didn't say spray. I'm thinking I need to do spray. We'll see. Um, come on, guy. So yeah, that's what that looks like. It just looks like a dough. Like, like biscuit. It just looks like a thick biscuit. Like if you're gonna make the actual biscuits and not like waffles or any kind of weird shit with it. Um. Okay. So it showed to basically just top the whole damn thing as it is. So we're gonna do that. Um. It showed marinara sauce. I don't have marinara sauce because I make my own sauce. So I'm going to use some of my home famous orange sauce. And I'm going to smush that down and make that a little more even because that guy's all lumped to one side. Okay. So I'm just going to take a tablespoon, a little bit more. Like it. You know, like a solid tablespoon. And then spread it on top. Covering it. And then, uh, whatever. Get out of here. And then put cheese on it. And do the cheddar. And then again, I'm going to do the parmesan because you have to have parmesan on pizza. And one of my favorite snacks pepperoni. I don't like pepperoni on pizza, believe it or not. I only like it like this. Ooh, this pepper is going to look a little greasy. Just right on top of my homework now. I'm not turning it in anyway. Um, now I'm doing math. Math wasn't in the description. <laughs> oh, hey, Adam, thanks for joining. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad for the, uh, the, the cooking suggestion. So, and I won't be here Friday because I'm going to be filming, um, refilming and filming some of my upcoming movie, late movie. Um, so I won't be able to do that on Friday night. So I figured, do this. I got to clean my microwave anyway. I'm starving. Other stuff going on. So perfect. Okay. So this is what this guy looks like. Eh, no. There's three in there, I promise. One's just being difficult. <laughs> okay, you saw it. Okay. So microwave. How long does this just say? Oh, it says, okay, this was a 1200 watt one. It says for one minute and a 1200 watt. So let's try this for two minutes, but like keep an eye on it so they don't explode. Okay. Ooh, this spicy pepperoni. I like that. Maybe we'll do a pizza night episode. I like making pizza from scratch. It's the best way to eat pizza because you put whatever the fuck you want on it. So, and the radiation is free. It's tacos next. I do want to do another taco episode. I did a semi taco de mayo with a lote. Oh, those aloches were good. I'm going to make another one of those too. Just so much work to make one of those little corns. Just checking. <laughs> Yeah, right. He's big time favorite person. Let's see. Ah! Let's see. Two questions for me. One, am I doing the show Friday? No, I'm not. If not, want to review the movie Dolls from 1987 with you and James. I gotta film my movie on Friday, so I won't be able to, because it's gotta happen in the evening. But I will try my best to Go back and watch it again or watch it after it airs so but thank you though that would have been fun okay oh shit it, it's cooking <laughs> duh but it's definitely made a change in the mug <laughs> we'll see we'll see i'm hopeful it looks like biscuit i hope it tastes good i don't have a 16th measuring spoon so I did my best. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Might have 
might have to go a little longer. Just a smidge, just a smidge. Next time. For sure, for, next, for sure next time. I don't know if I've seen Dolls from 1987. I don't know. I remember a lot of horror movies, from, like weird ones from the 80s. I heard a pop, so I stopped. Ooh. Oh, Lordy, look at that. See, that definitely came up. That's not at the bottom of the cup anymore. That is a about three quarters of the way instead of a quarter. So this has risen a lot. So I'm going to let him chill for a second. And then we're going to move on to the next one, which is the last one. And it was ice cream cake. It is and isn't what it sounds like. And it's not like the cake with the ice cream in the middle. It's actually cake made out of ice cream. So it's ice cream cake. Um, the one I saw was like, it was like a Ben and Jerry's deal, but I don't have Ben and Jerry's in my house. I have other shit. Um, so, yeah, so I got to get some ice cream. Ooh, well, I didn't even pick an ice cream because I have a bunch of ice creams. I have a Cinnabon one, a vanilla one, and a strawberry one. Ooh, I'll do the vanilla one, I guess. Be all vanilla about it. Um, so, yeah, so now I need to get some ice cream. Hold on. And some whipped cream. Because hell yeah. Okay. That guy's calming down. I'm happy for him. Okay, so it said two big scoops or about two thirds of a cup of ice cream. So it's in here. And it says to, oh crap, I just punctured the side of the freaking curtain. So they get for using a fork. Um, so you gotta melt it and then mix it and then cook it. So we're kinda doing double the work. Oh, so that no, I had to have meant two scoops of the solidified ice cream and not the melted ice cream. I was like, wait a minute, two thirds of what melted or unmelted? It's gotta be that's gotta mean what the scoops are worth as a solid. Um, I guess. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna put that back. And my milk, so don't go bad. Okay. Not melting. Move away from the microwave a little bit. You've been sitting in front of it too long. Oh, I will. I will reach out to him. I've just been really busy this week, but I haven't forgotten about him. Trust me, I haven't forgotten about it. Definitely want to have him on. So we'll see. We'll see. He seems like he's a nice guy. So yeah, uh, that and I like the. I love the. Nightmare on Elm Street. I mean, a lot of people don't like those, like Dream Warrior and Dream Child and stuff, but I I liked them. I thought they were super fucking cheesy. They made no sense in some parts, but I liked them. That's the dumb one. I don't want to get that mixed up. Okay, so stir this up until it's melted. Oh my gosh. So yeah, now it's just basically like milk. Milkish. No, oh, the little lumpies out. Okay. So probably add like cocoa or some crap in here and probably make it chocolate, but I'm not gonna mess with that. But then okay, so about Two thirds cup of ice cream and then melted. Then we're gonna add a half a cup of, of self rising flour. But I don't have self rising, I have all purpose, so yay for all purpose. I'm glad it has a purpose. Okay, so. Eh. Okay, you go away now. I'm gonna have so many dishes to do again. Oh, this one looks like this look too. That's gonna be kind of gross. 
Ben and Jerry's, I hope you did not steer me wrong with this fucking recipe. No, okay. Oh, wow. Okay. It does look like cake batter. Look at that. It's like the cake batter. It smells like bread. So, okay, so now clean up these edges a little bit. Okay, so let's microwave this one for two and a half to three minutes or until the center is set. Go to three minutes. And then get rid of that. And get rid of that. And I just made a mess. That's fine. I don't have pots and pans to clean, so I can deal with silverware and mugs. Ah, I have to. Okay. Everybody did that as a kid, right? Okay, this is pretty cool. So, like, I can touch the mug now and it doesn't burn. Um, am I making this stuff? I'm making this stuff. Um, okay, so there is the pizza. And please be done, please be done, please be done, please be done. Holy crap, it's done! Oh, look at that. It's freaking pizza! I don't know how well you can see that, but it's freaking pizza. It's like a pizza biscuit. Mm. I guess because it's just not the consistency of pizza. It's like a casserole. De definitely casserole. Definitely. Could have put a little more salsa in here too. I and mean, I probably would next time. If I ever make this again, probably put like garlic or something in the dough. It was not bad. It worked. I'm happy. I'm hungry. And my pasta sauce is bomb. No, it's good on this too. So. Okay. Because I ate a lot of mac and cheese. <laughs> oh, crap. It turned from the stuff to the blob. So this is the cake. Damn it, come on. That's the cake. I mean, it's set. Oh my god, I didn't hear that. Oh, I shouldn't do that. It's gonna fall. It doesn't matter. I don't even know if this... Uh, that's gonna scare me. Oh, it's done. It's yeah, that shit came out clean. It's done. All right, this was the last one, guys. So, oh, so pretty. I love how Cool Whip makes everything look fancy. You could have no fucking skill at all, and you just put Cool Whip on anything. It looks nice. Look at that. That's my my mug cake. Let's see. Add hot sauce to that pizza. Yes, hot sauce would be good on it too. Okay, so. Oh. Come on, buddy. The mug cake. Yeah, it kind of lifted a lot. Mm. That's not bad. I mean, you definitely have to have a cool up on it because the ice cream I have, it's like half the sugar. It's not full sugar. So you can taste a little bit more bread than sugar. But I'm, it's not bad. It just tastes like bread. Like, um, like a quick bread or like a holiday bread or something. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't mind it, though. I could add some stuff to it. It would make it better, but I would say this is a good base. So, Ben and Jerry's, thank you. That's a good, quick, easy base for mug cake. And... That said, I'm going to go eat a salad now. So, yeah. So, let me know um, if you guys try any of these out. Hot. If you guys try any of these out or if you guys have any 
um, that you want to see me make later on in the show. Uh, if I do another episode of microwave food, then um, I'll throw it in there. I'm going to move this stuff because I've got to lean across to stop the show. So, yeah. Okay. Thank you guys so much for joining. Gosh, dang it. Someone's trying to call me. How rude. No. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining me. I will see you guys Monday. I'll see you guys Monday with a new episode. So, uh, I'm Nightmares, Bobby. Night. <laughs>